Hi gang, so my book is out tomorrow, the 5th of January. It's available at WH Smith's, Am um, Amazon, Waterstones, everywhere. There's some signed copies available. I was on this morning, this morning, uh, with the legendary Andy Peters, um, and that was great. I'd go back and watch that if you want to know a little bit about what the book's about. And I also did uh, Radio BBC Radio 5 Live with Nahal um, today, who is amazing. Um, we went really in deep about lots of stuff, so listen to that. I'm back on BBC Sounds. But I thought I would just read you one little extract from the book. Um, I'll do another one tomorrow um, on, on launch day. But this is under Pillar 3. Resist. And the book's called Approach Without Caution, Five Pillars to Take Control of Your Life. Pillar three is Resist. It's entitled The Blame Game. How often do we blame our shortcomings on someone else instead of owning our own contribution to the shit hitting the proverbial fan? Don't throw someone else under the bus. Be big enough to hold your hand up and admit it when you're wrong. The quickest way to get your canoe afloat and running in harmony with life's currents is fessing up to the person you've wronged, acknowledging where you screwed up and explaining what you're going to do to correct it so it doesn't happen again. Only when you take complete responsibility for your actions can you really begin to grow in yourself. You are where you are in life because of the actions you've taken so far. If things are not working the way you want them to, only you can change them. When you begin to face this truth and take responsibility for the impact you have on yourself and others, things quickly begin to change for the better. It's very empowering to feel like you're on top of things, being transparent, upfront and honest with people. When we try and accommodate people by telling them a softer version of the truth, it just blows up in our face and we end up looking like a bullshitter. It's so much better to just be completely straight and consistent. Then people know where they are with you. I will just say that you often see people come out and say, I am who I am, I say it how it is, and if you don't like it, that's your problem. These people are normally socially disabled and just say stupid things in a stupid way and can't understand why everyone thinks they're a fuckhead. You need some tact and you need to understand the person you're talking about. Just going around saying the first thing that comes into your head in the most direct way possible is not the answer anyway. You can still be honest and direct, but without causing offence. Sometimes you need to drop some bombshells, but again, understand who you're talking to and do it in a way to cause minimum damage. Also, be aware that some people have no self-awareness. They're never going to change, and no amount of you talking to them is going to fix it. I often don't bother, as it's just going to cause conflict. So instead, I just handle my shit, make sure I can honestly say I've done all I can, and it's up to this person to see it and change it themselves. It's also available on an audiobook read by me. Guys, it's out tomorrow. I can't thank you enough for all the support you've had already. Check it out. Go to Amazon. Go WH Smith's, Waterstones, or pick it up in person. You will not, I promise, be disappointed. This is Approach Route Caution. I'm James Haskell, and I'll see you tomorrow for launch day.